Hello. In the uh, first video of this series about infinity, we looked at um, Zeno's paradox, which introduced a, a view of infinity and infinitesimal as, as numbers. And um, that's one direction we can explore about infinity and infinitesimal. And that leads us to um, the issues that came up in developing calculus. And uh, they weren't really uh, settled for the most part until the mid uh, 19th century. Another aspect of infinity is the idea that infinity describes the size of a collection or a set. And uh, that first um, real confrontation came up in the uh, 1600s um, by observations by Galileo, the famous astronomer. So Galileo came up with this these ideas, and we call them Galileo's Paradox. All right, so here's, here's what he observed. He said, okay, let's take the, the counting numbers. And the counting numbers are the numbers beginning with one, the whole numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. All right, now, this uh, mathematicians call this, these the natural numbers, incidentally, the counting numbers. And um, the little three dots means that this pattern goes on forever. So this, this set is infinite in size. It has infinitely many numbers. Galileo said, well, you know, if you square each of these numbers, and let's form a set, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, and so forth. So if we, if we square these numbers we can form a different set. And, and look at this. The, this number, 1 can, uh, matches up with 1, 2 matches up with 4, 3 matches up with 9, and so on. We call this a one-to-one -one correspondence. And so there's a one-to-one um, -one correspondence, which plays a, a pretty pretty big role in, in mathematics, in parts of mathematics, the idea of one-to-one -one correspondences. But anyway, as you can see, it, it just basically means that everything in this set matches up with everything here, and vice versa. Now, what do you see that's uh, kind of odd about this? <laughs> okay. Um, it tells us that there are as many numbers in this set of perfect squares as there are counting numbers. Now, doesn't that strike you as strange? Because there are, um, you would think there'd be a lot fewer of these numbers. For example, this set does not contain 2 or 3 or 5, 6, 7, 8. It, um, but, but the size of this set matches the size of that set. Uh, very, very, very troubling. <laughs> okay, so um, now it sort of indicates that in infinity is... Um, Things get kind of strange with infinity when you get talking about infinite sets, infinite collections of objects. And, uh, and so they can um, appear to be have different objects, but yet they all match up in a one-to-one -one correspondence. Here's another look at uh, Galileo's paradox. Uh, you, can, you can do this with, with line segments, for example. And I'll use uh, the number line. Um, all right, so suppose that uh, we have this segment going from 0 to 1. And we have this segment going from 0 to 2. All right, so what we propose to do is to take every number on this number line and pair it up with a number down here. And so 0 would pair up with 0. Uh, 1 half would pair up with 1. 1 pairs up with 2. And we'll do another one. 1 fourth pairs up with 1 half. Now, what's, what's the rule here? The rule is that if I take any number up here, multiply it by 2, I'll match a number down here. But I can also go in reverse. 
and say, well, okay, I can take every number down here, for example, this is one and a half, or three halves, and if I take half of it, it pairs up with a number up here, which would be three-fourths. So whether you take these numbers and multiply by two, or take the bottom numbers and multiply by one half, or divide by two, you can uh, link every, theoretically, every number that you can represent on that line segment with every number on this line segment down here below. Uh, that's kind of odd, isn't it? Because it says that they have the same number of numbers. Okay, Again, they're infinite collections of objects, infinite collection of numbers. Both sets have the same number of numbers, um, but, but obviously it looks like this, this line should have more numbers because it's twice as long. Very strange. Now, uh, just, just one other little, little thing. If we excluded this number. So in other words, if I took the line segment going from 0 to 2, but not including the number 2, then this correspondence would not work. Now what would that tell you? That means that there's one extra number in this set over that set. <laughs> okay. In other words, this, this line segment is actually contains more numbers than this, this line segment. Very strange. All right, so that sort of uh, sets the plate for this other direction of, um, of discussions about infinity, which I'd like to explore. And in the next video, in this, in this part, Aspect of Infinity, I'm going to talk about the, the Hilbert Hotel.